Dun 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 What is going on guys and girls? Ghost Robo Lego City Undercover. Betcha never thought this would see the light of day again. It has been a very very long break. And for that I say all shucks because I was gone and my Wii U has been honestly used for absolutely nothing. And I got so busy with a lot of games. Games like uh, The Grand Last of Us, games like State of Decay, a lot of E3 adventures as well. Um, and I, I could not, could not ignore the request. I, I get them every day, people saying, Ghost, when is LEGO City coming back? When is LEGO City coming back? When is LEGO City coming back? When? And I didn't have a good answer for anybody, because I, I didn't really know, um, what I was going to be able, when I was going to be able to play it, or, or what was going to happen at that. Um, and I still sort of don't know as sad as to say, just because it's, it's been existing for such a long time, and I know, I know, there's been a lot of you who have been really supportive of the series, and great, and for that I'm super, super appreciative. Um, I'm back with an episode right now. I, I, I'm not making any promises for stuff just because I'm really busy right now. But if you do want to see this, I know it was doing well previously. So again, just smash that like button, show it some love, add to your favorites, talk at me in the comments, and um, I, will, I will make my best effort to continue it if people seem to still want it. I don't know. I know I took a break from it once, and then we returned, and people were like, I still want the game! Uh, but I don't know. Do you guys still want it? Maybe people are sick of it. Maybe it's just a couple people on the uh, on the Twitters that are really aggressively requesting. And everybody else is sort of over this. Um, but so yeah, I would appreciate you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Talk about it a little bit. Think about it. Hit that like button if you want more of it, and we'll go from there. Ooh, that's a pretty car. I'm, excuse me. I need you. I need this you. Is an Ooh, hot swap. That's pretty sexy. Um, I wanted to use this video. Right now, I'm going to the wharf. There's another mission um, for Chen, who is the head of that one place, if you remember or don't remember. Uh, he is the guy we worked from last time. We were doing, like, hopping on top of the building, capturing pictures of people, all that sort of good, glorious stuff. I'm in his gang, if you remember uh, where we left off. I'll put a link to the previous part as well if you want to kind of catch up on the storyline and see what was going on. Anyways, I wanted to use this video to talk about the Wii U at E3, um, because I know that you guys are probably more receptive of it, being that you're watching this awesome Wii U game. Uh, most people are like, oh gosh, the Wii U is for babies, and it's really not. They really had an amazing amazing showing at E3. I really liked what they had on display. Um, the main games I played were Mario Kart 8, Super Mario 3D World, um, Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, and uh, I, I didn't get to play, but I saw Pikmin 3 and Zelda Wind Waker. And these are all first-party titles um, coming from Nintendo later this year. Mario Kart is slated for 2014, uh, but the other ones are all coming this year. Mario is supposed to release in October. Um, I think Wind Waker in November and uh, Decay in December, I believe? Or maybe it's also in November. Pikmin in August. Um, so they have a real good slew of titles, and I'm very excited. Nintendo has definitely stepped their graphics up. Whatever they've done for the second wave of, of Wii U games um, in Mario and even DK uh, and Mario Kart, surprisingly, they look gorgeous. Of course, they don't have the realistic sense that, like, you know, Infamous Second Son or Kill Zone or Rise oh, has, but dang, they look pretty. They just jump off the screen. The colors are so vibrant. The character models are so crispy, clear, like seeing Toad and Peach and Luigi running around in those cat suits was like unbelievably fun. And the games all played so good. It's like the best Mario Kart I think I've played um, since I was really into the game. Gosh, back on GameCube with uh, with Double Dash or even on Game Boy Advance with Super Circuit. It controlled beautifully. It was a lot of fun. Seems like they've done a little bit with the perspective to make it more uh, intense or something. I don't know. It felt really good. The new Mario game, super awesome. That's the one that I, I think was my favorite game I played at all of uh, E3 um, because it, it just was so much fun. I wanted to sit there and play it all day long. I didn't want to leave the demo station. I went through every level that they had on display and it was a total blast. And even DK, you know, I was a little bit disappointed Donkey Kong Returns, uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns because I'm a huge DK fan and I really love the Super Nintendo games and I even kind of got some uh, good enjoyment out of the N64 um, open world title. But Returns didn't really do it for me for a number of reasons. I know a lot of people love that game, um, but it felt too cartoony to me. It felt too cheap. It felt like it lacked some of the intense challenge of, of like the barrel missions and, and things like that um, from the original Donkey Kong Countries. And this one seems to be putting it all back together and has like some very sick visual effects going on of rotating the environments, and it's, it's way more impressive uh, than the Wii one. So I think you guys are going to really love all the stuff Nintendo has to offer. And hopefully you can play a lot more Wii U coming later this fall. Are you there yet? Yeah. This job was meant to be for Feng, but I can't find him. Or Lee, or Fu, or Ping. Maybe they're all getting coffee? Are you saying my coffee is bad? No! Something's up, and the only men I have left are you. And this bunch of dregs! Ooh! 
So, with all my most trusted employees missing, you're going to have to do the job for me. What is it? I'll give you the details later. No one can know about this. Ooh. Just take my boat from the wharf and get to Apollo Island. Now! God, this guy's on some serious angry Cheetos or something. I don't know what his ordeal is, but he's yelling at us every chance he gets. We gotta take the boat to Apollo Island. There is our stopping point, the holographic uh, cylinder of, of hope. Aboard this creepy uh, Chan's Arowana boat, we're gonna fly through the pretty water. But yeah, I'm really excited for what Nintendo is bringing to the Wii U. Third-party support, I don't know where it's gonna be. Um, there's two really notable games coming, which are um, The Wonderful 101 is really a lot of fun. Kind of like that jump. And so is um, Bayonetta 2 looks really good. Uh, those are two games that are kind of, I guess, they're not huge third-party releases. Not like, oh god, there's an exclusive Assassin's Creed game. Um, but I think they're going to be very fun for people who own a Wii U. Um, and of course, you are getting a lot of the major titles this fall on Wii U. Not all of them, but a good chunk. New Batman, stuff like that. Um, so I think it's going to shape up to be a really nice holiday for the Wii U and get them back on track, especially if they price drop the, the system itself and, you know, can advertise a lower price point with really polished games. Because a lot of the stuff that comes out at launch for both Xbox One and PS4 is probably going to be a little bit a little bit shaky, and I think that they've really nailed down some some awesome stuff um, that will review really well. I mean, those games, even if you don't like the fact that they're kind of repetitive and they haven't introduced any new IP for a while, like, they, they own that formula. They know how to make a great Mario game. They know how to make a great DK game. They know how to, obviously, remake their great Zelda game. I never have played uh, Wind Waker through, so I'm very excited for that one as well. It looks so stunning, and some people dismiss it because it's kitty or, you know, cartoony or friendly, but man, it it looks really, really pretty, and same with the Mario stuff. Really, really gorgeous. I'll, I'll stop talking about it in case you don't care, but um, just want to give you guys an update on the E3 stuff since we haven't played a Wii U game in literally a month. I do apologize again for the break and exercise. I was having a lot of fun with LEGO City Undercover, um, and like I said, just just think about what you want on in the comments, those likes and favorites, and we can either make it happen or just bid it adieu. Um, whatever works for you guys works for me. Provided I have the time, I'll, I'll do my best to to make it happen if you guys really want it. I mean, if this video clears like 2,000 likes or something, then it's like, whoa, clearly a lot of people are very, very excited to see the continuing adventures of Chase McCain, even if it is a couple months later. Um, so, yeah, ooh. Pirate ships in the stormy seas. This game world is Ellie? huge. I'm on another job for Chan, and I get the feeling it won't be just a sports car this time. I'm headed to Apollo Island. What on earth could Rex want Chan to get from there? No idea. But this feels like a clue to me, Ellie. A big, fat clue. I'll update you once I know more. It's Ellie. After The Last of Us, she graduated in, and came to Lego City to help out Chase McCain on his adventures, just like she helped out Joel. I bet you didn't know that. Fun fact. From the last of us, we're here. Huh. Have you got to Apollo Island, driver? Yes, sir. Good. I want you to steal a moon buggy. What? Huh? Well, what did you think I sent you to Apollo Island for? Ice cream? Would have been nice. Just get into the space center and steal a moon buggy! My god, we're going to a space center. I should find a disguise so I can get into the space center. Ooh. Maybe we become an astronaut? Been waiting for new disguises. I know we've got like the robber one and, and that, but something really unique would be kind of fun. Holy crap, that is a long ways away. Apollo Island. It's a massive freaking island. Ooh, let's shoot it with our gun. I need to be this guy? No. That's the that thing. This one. Enjoy my purple thing. I don't even know. Alright, we gotta get over there. Chase knows the passwords to everything ever, and I'm just gonna paint the world purple because like what why not? Why not paint it purple even if it sucks away from itself over time? Ooh. This is my magic cocoon van. I'm like going to hunt E.T. or something. Thank you, thank you, my musical interlude. Hey, the purple color is gone. What the, what the? Who stole the purple? Entering the space station antechamber. Come on! 
Look at all these astronaut men. Hey, I want one of your suits. I'm a robber. I'm a villain. I'm a felon. I'm a foe. Uh-oh. Inside the magic crate, someone left another super suit. Maybe I'll even find a space suit. That'd be so cool. Open the box, build that thingamabob? I don't even know. Find a way into the space center. I guess first we'll head here. Not sure if this is the correct uh, order. There, show that box for a second. But I don't see that. In my visibility range, so we'll do this one first. Da 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 da. da. Oh, that's a color swapper. Give me what color? White? I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't. I don't even know. Um, my God, this is huge. I mean, I know it's not the most detailed Ouch. environment ever. But goodness gracious, great balls of fire. It is full of intensity, isn't it? Dynamite. I need to find a new disguise. The moon buggy is on the roof there, but where is the... Where is that crate? I don't... What are these things? Alright. That's not the correct color. Blue is not the correct color. Yellow, dello, dello, dello. Where is this crate of suits? Um, looks like somehow I gotta get up on the roof. I'm not entirely sure how to make that work. Let's just do a sweep of the building. Perhaps we can find our disguise on the back side of this superstructure. Hey, what is it? Nothing. You hear me right? What did that woman say? I have no idea what she even said. It sounded a little bit alien to me. These are space workers, so we never know what kind of creepiness they're going to be saying. I'm walking in circles and nothing is standing out to me. There's some, like, hot coffee over well, there. Oh, there's that box. Box, 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 Break. And inside is uh, it, one of these things again. What are these? I can't even use that. I don't even... I, hey. I must be getting a moon bounce or something. The double jump I've been waiting for, like, forever! Ah. Alright. Become a mine man. Mine man, mine man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, what am I to do? Can I just blow this up, stick some dynamite in it? Eat it. Um, everything is locked, which is so strange. What is a man oh. to do? Oh, 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 ah, oh, ah. Whatever. I don't even know. Um. I mean, I can switch the color again. I don't know if that did anything. This is strange. I don't think we should leave the space base. I want your super suit. I don't have the, the capacity to climb up here, which is eventually where I need to get to. My dog. Weird. I'm gonna go back to the thing that was like, hey, it's the wrong color. Because now I have, I have blue? White? Silver light? I mean, I don't know. Oh my god, can I just beat up one of these guys? Come here, one of Okay, fine. Blue? It was blue last time. God dang it. I don't even know. I'm gonna color this thing blue. Where do you think we go? Find a way into the space center. I can't get up there to do the moon buggy thing because of... Problems. Um, break the stuff. Break the stuff. Looking around while we've got some scruff on our face. Because we're a crumb. Why are they laughing at me? That's not even nice. I wish I could find the yellow color. Um, how about over here? Random brick breaking. And no happy time results. Boo hiss. How about here? Breaking some stuff. Everything garbage. No. All just disappeared. This is so very odd. They wanted me clearly to get the color swapper gun bit and then uh, break open that box, but I. 
I don't know what to do. Can I smash it with the... Can I shoot this? No. This ability is locked, see? What is one to do when all the abilities are locked? I don't have that. I surely hope someone isn't screaming at their screen like, Go, oh, just do it! Here we go. Oh, yes. All right, finally. I think I made a wardrobe. <gasps> I'm so sorry. That was a little bit silly, but hey, I'm getting my I'm getting my groove back on with the Lego sitting under cover. And, like, aspects. And now I've unlocked Chase McCain Astro. But we have a good layout of the surroundings, so we don't need to do any more exploration at this point. Kind of just did things in a little bit of reverse order. I am a freaking astronaut, man. I should be able to do the double bubble soon, right? Do I unlock double bubble here? Hey. Oh. Simon says... Green, blue, red, yellow. Open the box and see all the jello. Oh, this isn't a. Ooh, it's teleportation. I guess it isn't moon bouncing. I thought we'd get like a double jump moon bounce. But apparently, we just have the power to summon weird Lego bricks from the alien world above. Um, okay. Now this comes in handy. Bringing it all together with all these pieces, huh? Pretty sweet. Up we go. Who will we meet on the rooftop? A lot of parkouring. Huh. Can I break this? Oh, that's the dynamite. Stick it in there, boy. Blowing up that Rex Fury statue, because that's what you do, right? Boom. Silver statue number two. Out of the way. Made of nothing but bricks and glue. We could take it down. We really did. Trying as hard as the three little pigs. That doesn't rhyme, but it sounded fun. I don't know what, what the, like, cooking power is, or what, ooh. Hey, come on, hey. Hey, no, no, no. Get out of here. All right. Get up here. I'm a spaceman, spaceman. Play Simon says, that's his power. A little bit odd, if you ask me. Can I stand on it? Whoa, he can teleport. Ooh. That's pretty alien of him. I guess we're going inside the space center now. <gasps> What will we do in here, astronauty? Guessing we're gonna have to find a moon buggy through a maze of planets and crazy NASA people. So hopefully we can solve it soon. Again, if you guys want to see more of this game, smash that like button, add your favorites, let me know in the comments below. Hope you're happy that it's back in some form, whether it continues or not, we'll have to wait and see. But for right now, thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Thanks so much for watching as I teleport in to the marvelous place of moon rocks and monkeys and police officers and giant All pencils. Whoa! Sheesh! That is one small step, Foreman! Perfect. While they're all busy working on the shuttle, I can just get to the moon buggy, which is... Somewhere around there. Uh, in the middle of the shuttle. Bam. Steal the moon buggy. That's our goal next time. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. It was a fantastic day. Drink so much. Until next time, we'll see you all later.